morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, morning. Good morning, morning. Wilbur, you haven't gone to the hospital today. <laughs> Ya no quiero ir. ¿Ah? Ya no quiero ir. Quiero estar, en el, estar en el hospital. Ay, yo sé, Wilber. Así estoy yo ahorita en mi casa con mi papá, que le han dado una máquina. Una máquina para el sueño. Mi papá no puede dormir bien porque padece de apnea de sueño. y Ay, no, pero es tremendo. No quiere ponérsela. Y yo creo que ni yo me la pusiera a usted. <risa> Qué así, así son, así son. Entre más, más grande te vuelve como un niño. ¿no? Entonces, sí. Tiene esas. Imagínese, esas imagínese, ellos tienen la dicha de tenernos y, nos, y a nosotros, ¿quién nos va a cuidar? La dicha nos ponemos muy profundos en piernas. Hoy en piernas. Sí. Ay, no. Yo a veces me pongo a pensar, ¿y a mí quién me va a enterrar? It's really terrible. I know. Hi, Eric. Good morning. <laughs> Eric, his mustache. <laughs> I have to shave. You have to shave. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know, Eric. Okay, well, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, Raul, Kevin, Alejandra, Wilber, uh, Eric, Oscar, Roxana, Catherine. Well, the two Roxanas, um, Karen, Marjorie, Eric, Angel, Jenny, Nancy, Liliana. Okay. Well, um, today, everybody, I'm going to give you the information from homework number three. In fact, I'm going to give you the homework right now. Okay. Uh, this is going to be oral. The homework is going to be oral. All right. So it's going to be homework number three. It's going to be oral and it's going to be easy. You're going to be, you're going to talk about things you have in your refrigerator. You will invent if you, if you, if you want. Talk about, things. <laughs> talk about things you have in your refrigerator using quantifiers. That's what you're going to do. Uh, you will talk uh, um, the time that you're going to use are going to be 20 seconds I don't need more I only need 20 seconds Okay, mm -hmm. 20 seconds you can say 7 or 8 sentences okay maximum 10 sentences no, 10 not too much um, 8 sentences alright uh, you're going to use quantifiers for example mm -hmm. Um, you will say, teacher, in my refrigerator, in my refrigerator, I have, um, you can say, I have some cheese, a lot of water, um, I have two frozen tortillas, <laughs> etc., right? You're going to talk about what you have in your refrigerator for um, 20 seconds. That's it. That is going to be your homework. Okay? Okay. Very easy. It's not difficult. All right. So <clears throat> that's this is going to be homework number three. Homework number three. And the oral presentation. The oral presentation. Okay. A moment. Um, I will give you the oral presentation information. The final oral presentation is going to be oral presentation number two. Final presentation is going to be for day Tuesday. Okay, the final oral presentation will be Tuesday. And the topic will be comparative, comparative. Yep. Uh, okay, but I, I'm gonna ask you, what do you want? What do you want video or do you want um, a presentation in class? A presentation in class. 
Me too. Presentation in class. Presentation in class. Okay, it's going to be a presentation yeah. in class then. Presentation in class. All right, yeah, because uh, you already recorded a lot of videos. That's nice. <laughs> so, um, it's going to be a presentation in class. All right, so you have to use PowerPoint or whatever you want. Or if there is a person who wants to present a video, you can do it. It's going to be optional. Okay. <laughs> PowerPoint presentation or video. It is optional, optional, okay. Now, uh, the topic is gonna be comparative. So you will compare two, and you will choose what you want to compare. If two people, two places, and you will, you are going to mention, mention as many, as many comparative sentences as you can, as you can, uh, in one minute, all right? It's going to be a presentation of one minute. Okay? Okay. Yeah. All right, so it's not, it's not difficult. I mean, you are very smart. You are very good students. That's for sure. Okay, so... Um, that's what you're gonna do, right? So the final oral presentation and homework number three. Okay, uh, maybe somebody can take a screenshot uh, because, oh, give me a second. Let me see if I can take a screenshot. <clears throat> mm, all right, let me see. Uh, I thank you, Karen Cadena. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right. Okay. So eh, I don't know if you have any question. Teacher, a ver si entendí. La primera, homework number three, eh, va a ser presentada oral aquí en la clase. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y Monday. el siguiente va a ser, ok, el siguiente, la siguiente va a ser, este, ese sí va a ser video. Si usted quiere, puede hacer video o prepara una PowerPoint y lo hace en la clase. Ah, ok. Ah, for example, eh, si yo tuviera que hablar de, de, de este tema, yo lo yo comparara dos libros, two books. Ah, and I would say, ok, El Principito en Las Mil y Una Noches, right? Eh, el Principito is more interesting than Las Mil y Una Noches because um, the story is more interesting. Eh, las mil y una noches is longer than el principito. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. ¿Ok? Porque los comparativos los vamos a empezar a estudiar ahora. Today. Mm -hmm. okay. So for that reason. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Eh, yeah. Ok. Great, great, great. Thank you, Karen. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Karen. All right, Karen. Karen was taking a picture from the details. All right, so um, the homework about um, the things that you have in your refrigerator quantifiers is going to be Monday, and the presentation is going to be Tuesday. No, let me see. Today is class number 16. No. So, Karen, sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete something. The presentation, the presentation is going to be Wednesday, okay? La vamos a hacer miércoles. The presentation is going to be Wednesday. I'm going to change this. Um, just give me a moment. Yeah. So the presentation is going to be Wednesday. So you have more time. Wednesday. So uh, you can compare um to books, to people. Uh, traten de pensar en comparar algo interesante, right? Something interesting. Ah, uh, si no, yo también comparar a dos, dos lugares, two, two places. Uh, but interesting places, of course. For example, I don't know, two interesting places or, or whatever. Thank you, Karen. Thanks a lot. Okay. Well, so right now, everybody, we are going to begin our class uh, trying to remember some adjectives. All right. Can you see the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, All right, yes. very good. So these are the opposites. Now, um, help me please select the correct adjective. So in the first one, which is the, the answer? Hot. 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 All right. What about this one? When you see a rabbit, what adjective? Uh, you fast. Slow. Fast. Fast. slow. A rabbit is a slow. No. no a fast. 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 
Aha, uh -huh. what about the next one? Reach. 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 What about the next one? Young. Young. Ah, okay. Young. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you with the pronunciation. And you don't say young. You the pronunciation is like this. Young. 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 And it's like if you make it with the nose. Young. 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 What about the next one? Fat. 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 All right. What about the next one? Easy. 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 All right. What about the next one? Big. 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 Yeah, because look at the arrow. The arrow is pointing the big one. All right. What about here? So hard. So soft. So soft. So soft. Yeah, soft. All right. The arrow. What about this one? Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, well, well <laughs> no, all right. okay. yeah. oh. <laughs> the, con the concept of beauty sometimes is uh, a little abstract. All right, what about this one? Expensive. Expensive, Expensive. yes. What about the next one? Good. 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 All right, the next one. Long. 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 What about the next one? Clean. 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 What about the next one? Happy. 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 Okay, now I want you to do something. I want you to tell me sentences using this adjective in the picture. For example, I'm going to help you with the first. The temperature is hot. Okay, very good. What about the next one? What can be a sentence? The rabbit, the rabbit is fast. Ah, ah, the rabbit is fat. What about the next one? The old man is rich. Sorry? He is rich. The old man is rich. The old man, he is rich. Okay, very good. Yes. What about the next one? The, the girl little is girl young. Is young. young. The little girl is young. All right, very good. Sorry, Wilbert, I closed the microphone, but it's a little noisy. All right, what about the next one? The beer is the beer fat. Beer is fat. Ah, the beer, la cerveza es rápida. All right. The yeah. The bird. The bird. The bird. Is bird. Yeah, bird. the bird. If you say beer, bird. it's like, yeah. What about this one? The problem the is the problem is easy. Is easy. The, the problem. problem. Oh, mm -hmm. the math problem. Yeah, you have to be a very, you have to be specific here because you can have a problem. The problem, which problem? All right. Yeah. So, uh, what about the next one? The mushroom is big. big. Mushroom is big. The mushroom is big. All right. What about the next one? The woman, the woman is beautiful. Is beautiful. The, woman is beautiful. the woman is beautiful. What? Uh, what about the next one? <laughs> Yeah. The, the, bag is the bag is expensive. The bag is expensive. Yeah, because you have a bag here, right? The bag is expensive. What about the next one? Give me a moment. Angel is gone. Angel is good. The angel is good. All right, very good. What about the next? The knife, the knife is, long. is long. The knife. Okay, cuchillo in English is knife. All right, like knife. this. Knife. Uh huh. Knife. The knife is long. What about the next one? The water is green. Ah, okay. In case when you talk about water, you don't say the water. You only say water, or you can water. say the the drop because it is a drop. You the can. The drop of water is green. Uh huh. Yes, very good, Eric. Uh -huh. the, the drop of water is clean. And what about the next one? The, the boy is happy. happy. The, face. the face is happy or the emoji is happy. All right, very good. Now, I'm going to give you another exercise. So, I'm going to give you, listen, I'm going to send the link. And I want you to do with your classmates, number seven and number eight. But I want you to do the same that I'm doing right now. Select the adjective. Okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna send the link right now. And let me see. Mm -hmm. I hate these clickbaits. <laughs> the name in English is clickbaits. Uh -huh. eh, como carnadas. 
eh, solo le das un clic y ya te mandan a, a, a comprar o, or whatever. Okay, the link is in the chat. Remember, the exercises that you have to do right now are number seven and number eight, these two. Okay, so you have to select the exercise and then you select, uh, now here you have the opposite. Pay attention, you have the opposite here. If in the previous one you had hot, what's, what's here? Cold. Cold, very good, yes. And you select cold and you say, ah, the temperature is cold. And then you continue with the next, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, okay, very good. Now let me see. Um, Alejandra, you can help me share, right? Yes, Eric, teacher. Angel, yes. Wilbert, can you help me? Yes. Yes, and Catherine. All right, very good. Yes, I have, I have, uh, let me see. Let me see if I can make five groups. Le let's see if everybody can participate. Karen, Ka ah, Karen Cadenas also has a computer. She, she also helps me. All right. Karen, Jenny, Jose Raul, Kevin, Carlos Eduardo. Karen, Yvette, can you help me share? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Angel, Esther, Roxana, Oscar, Alejandra, Sura. All right. You're going to be in room number two. Angel helps me. Uh, Marjorie, Wilbert. Uh, give me a moment. Gol. Sorry. Nicole, Estefan, Roxana, Ramirez de Arias, and Gabriela Solorzano. You're going to be in room number three. Alejandra Yanira Alemán, Erika Asensio, Rosa Manda, Katherine Mejía, and Heidi are going to be room number four. Claudia Ruiz, Eric, Lilian, and Nancy, you're going to be in room number five, okay? So let's go. I'm going to give you some minutes. Let's go.
Hungry? Hungry. Hungry. Yes. Hungry. It's correct. Correct. Okay. What is what is this? Is... I don't know. It's a word. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Parece como un intestino. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> And the okay. next is cool. 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 The bottle of kind of garbage is cool. new. Uh, the car is new. 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 The car is Quite. new. Quit. Quit. Quiet. Quiet. The emoji is quiet. <laughs> yes. And uh, yes. high. 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 Yes. The three is, is high. high. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, what is clever? I don't understand the image. No, it's just clever. Teacher. Uh, the main is clever. The main scriber. Hmm? What? Repeat, please. Cleaver. Cleaver. The main is cleaver. Oh, cleaver. Yeah. Okay. What is cleaver? What does I don't mean? know. Spanish. Cleaver. Uh -huh. What is cleaver in Spanish? Okay, next. Mm -hmm. The woman is thirsty. 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 Yes. Mm. White arrow. What is guys? A cleaver is intelligent. Is sim similar? Mm -hmm. Um. In this case, uh, mm, narrow. No. White. That. Well, no. That words are new for me. Yes. <laughs> Why? You you look for in the translate. Google Translate, maybe? I'm not sure, but maybe why? Narrow um, uh, in Spanish is angosto. Uh, uh, in white? In white, white is... Ancho. Ancho. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Thank uh, you. White. Mm -hmm, thank you. Ang hango? Angry? Angry. Mm -hmm. Is wet. The weather, the weather is wet. 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 Yes. Mm. The man is heavy. 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 Uh, lazy. 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 The man is lazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And... <laughs> kind. 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 Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. And the <laughs> dangerous. 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 Okay, do you need extra time? No. 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 Did you okay. finish the two exercises? Yes. Mm, only one teacher. Roxana, in Roxana's group, only one. In Eric's group, did you select the adjectives and say the sentences? Yes, pero, but in, in, in one, we don't know uh, the name of Pesa. 
Ah, the yes. you can say the weight. Uh -huh. The weight. Ah, okay, okay. okay. The weight is heavy. Uh -huh. Or okay. the or the bar or yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, right now, everybody, what I'm going to do, if you didn't finish, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, all right? Because uh, today we, we I need to explain or at least introduce the, the comparatives so you know about them. Now, I'm going to show you a video. Please pay attention to this video. What we're going to study right now is very important, which is the introduction to comparative adjectives, okay? So um, let's see, I'm going to show you the video right now i'm gonna share the sound and pay attention to this okay i'm gonna close the microphone mute all the microphones all right and let's go hello guys let's see this picture here you have some cups and mugs can you identify some differences between these cups and mugs? Let's see some differences, shall we? So, the blue mug is taller than the white cup. Can you see that difference? Another difference is the white and brown cup is more plastic than the other mugs and cups. Did you listen to that? Taller, more plastic. Let's see another picture, okay? Let's see this picture of blouses. Let's see some differences. Hmm. So one difference is that one blouse is sexier than the other. Hmm. Difference number two. The other blouse is more formal than the other. Did you listen to those words? Sexier, more formal. These words are comparative adjectives. When you want to compare two products, you use adjectives in the comparative form. Now, how do you create the comparative form? Let's see some rules. Rule number one. To one-syllable adjectives, for example, old, big, only add er. For example, older, bigger. For adjectives ending in y, Drop the Y, add I, and ER. For example, dirty, sucio, dirtier, or like some people say, dirtier. Rule number three. To adjectives that have more than one syllable, you add the word more. For example, plastic, more plastic. Formal, more formal. Now, be careful. There are some adjectives that are irregular adjectives. For example, good, better, bad, Worse, far, farther. Now, here you have a list of adjectives you can use to compare products when you go shopping. Pause the video, take a screenshot. Study these words and use them to compare products when you go shopping. Okay, I will repeat the video. Do I repeat the video? 
Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Pay, pay attention yes. to the examples. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna show you later. I'm gonna show you the rules so you can see the rules. All right. So, but right now, let's watch the video again. Close the microphones, please, because there are some microphones that are uh, open and and there is a little noise where you are. Okay. Can you identify some differences between these cups and mugs? Let's see some differences, shall we? So, the blue mug is taller than the white cup. Can you see that difference? Another difference is the white and brown cup is more plastic than the other mugs and cups. Did you listen to that? Taller, more plastic. Let's see another picture, okay? Let's see this picture of blouses. Let's see some differences. Hmm. So one difference is that one blouse is sexier than the other. Hmm. Difference number two. The other blouse is more formal than the other. Did you listen to those words? Sexier, more formal. These words are comparative adjectives. When you want to compare two products, you use adjectives in the comparative form. Now, how do you create the comparative form? Let's see some rules. Rule number one. To one syllable adjectives, for example, old, big, only add er. For example, older, bigger. For adjectives ending in y, Drop the Y, add I, and ER. For example, dirty, sucio, dirtier, or like some people say, dirtier. Rule number three. To adjectives that have more than one syllable, you add the word more. For example, plastic, more plastic. Formal, more formal. Now, be careful. There are some adjectives that are irregular adjectives. For example, good, better, bad, Worse, far, farther. Now, here you have a list of adjectives you can use to compare products when you go shopping. Pause the video, take a screenshot. Study these words and use them to compare products when you go shopping. Okay, uh, I have a question guys. Do you understand the rules or do you need to watch the video another time? I can repeat it and no problem. Mm, another time, teacher. Yes, teacher, another yes. time. Okay, another time, all right. Teacher, you, you can watch. Teacher, can you, oh, maybe teacher can you explain more? Oh. Yes, but first I'm showing you the video and then I explain, okay? That's what I always do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I will repeat I will repeat the video the third time because what I want you to do is I want you to then from the example she is giving you. And later I told you I will show you the rules so you can see the rules and we have and we're gonna 
We're gonna think about some examples together, okay? But right now, what I want you to do is, I want you to try to understand, to comprehend, okay? Because uh, as a student, uh, how can I say? Como estudiantes estamos acostumbrados a que nos den todo. Y ahorita lo que quiero que hagan es que ustedes traten de, no de adivinar, sino que, de, que traten de entender cuáles son las reglas. All right, porque cuando yo se las diga, ustedes me van a ayudar, ¿ok? ¿Es it clear? Ya, yeah, teacher. I have yes. toco. I yes. have toco, Eric. All right, very good. Ok, let's see. Give me a moment. Third and last time. Try to understand, all right? Because when I give you the rules, thank you, Karen. I was going to take a screenshot from that. Uh, from that list, but when I took the screenshot, she appeared. So thank you, Karen. All right, let's see. The last time. Hello, guys. Let's see this picture. Here you have some cups and mugs. Can you identify some differences between these cups and mugs? Let's see some differences, shall we? So, the blue mug is taller than the white cup. Can you see that difference? Another difference is the white and brown cup is more plastic than the other mugs and cups. Did you listen to that? Taller, more plastic. Let's see another picture, okay? Let's see this picture of blouses. Let's see some differences. Hmm. So, one difference is that one blouse is sexier than the other. Hmm. Difference number two. The other blouse is more formal than the other. Did you listen to those words? Sexier, more formal. These words are comparative adjectives. When you want to compare two products, you use adjectives in the comparative form. Now, how do you create the comparative form? Let's see some rules. Rule number one, to one syllable adjectives, for example, old, big, only add er, for example, older, bigger. For adjectives ending in y, drop the y, add i, and er. For example, dirty, sucio, dirtier, or like some people say, dirtier. Rule number three, to adjectives that have more than one syllable, you add the word more. For example, Plastic, more plastic. Formal, more formal. Now, be careful. There are some adjectives that are irregular adjectives. For example, good, better, bad, worse, far, farther. Now, here you have a list of adjectives you can use to compare products when you go shopping. Pause the video. Take a screenshot. Study these words and use them to compare products when you go shopping. Okay, very good. 
Now, I'm going to explain the rules to you. All right. But uh, from the video and the rules she explained, uh, how many rules did you understand? Uh, three rules. Three rules. If you, ah, okay. Very good. She mentioned three rules only, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you that we have more than three rules. Okay. We have more than three rules and right now i'm gonna show you these rules okay i'm gonna try to show you the rules uh, in a very simple way i don't want i don't want to complicate your lives all right i want to show you the rules in a very easy way okay and you can understand easier let me see can you see Give me a moment Sorry, Cecilia, your microphone has a lot of echo. Okay, I want you to pay attention right now only to, let me see, only to this part. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, so here we have everybody some rules for the comparative adjectives. Okay, now here we have, for example, um, she mentioned three rules. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rules. Okay, seven rules, because they are not only three, they are more. But, okay, now here, for example. Okay. So, for example, uh, we have some adjectives here. The first one is, remember what I told you? Well, you were not in Basico 1 with me. But I will tell you something that is really basic. Syllables in English are counted by pronunciation. So, for example, if we have the word enfermera in English and the pronunciation is nurse, According to the pronunciation, how many syllables we have? One syllable. One. Very good. No, we don't have two because we don't say nurse. We say nurse. Okay. What about in this word? How many syllables do you have? Two. 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 What's the pronunciation? Doctor. Doctor. Exactly. So we have two syllables. Now, when they are talking about one syllable here, are adjectives that have only one syllable in pronunciation, for example, strong, or for example, long. So when you have adjectives that have one syllable, to make the comparative, you are going to add the ER. So the comparative is going to be a stronger. So if you want to say fuerte, strong, más fuerte, stronger. 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 You're going to add the ER to the bear. Well, and to make a comparative, you're going to say stronger than, and you mention what? For example, uh, Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson is La Roca. Mm -hmm. So Dwayne Johnson is a stronger than Vin Diesel, in my yes, opinion. Yes, of course. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. Dwayne Johnson is stronger than Vin Diesel. Okay. Um, is this clear? Is rule number one clear? Yes. yes. Okay, very yes, good. Teacher. Now, the second rule. Vaya, ustedes ya tienen como la idea porque ya vieron ese video tres veces y trataron de entender. Si yo me meto a explicarles las reglas de un solo, it's like, mm, okay. Yeah, so por eso es importante ver los videos antes, los de la plataforma, right? Porque nos dan un contexto o un preámbulo. Okay, now the second rule. The second rule says that when you have a consonant, a short vowel and a consonant, in the case of big, you double the last consonant and you add ER. So B is grande. How do you say más grande? Bigger. 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 And you bigger. say 
better than. Voy a enfatizar esto. When you compare, you don't say that. Because a lot of students when are, ah, yes, uh, my house is bigger that. No, it's not that. It's than, right? Because it has an N, no a T, okay? Okay. Another another example of this can be hot. Hot, in hot, you have. Hot. Vaya, déjeme explicar todo y después me preguntan lo que quieran, all right? Ahorita no, don't interrupt. So you have consonant, vowel, and consonant. So the comparative is going to be hotter with double T. Okay? Okay. 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 If you have questions, guys, if you have questions, write them on the notebook. And when I finish the explanation, you ask me. Okay, the next one is adjectives ending in E, for example, large. For the comparative, what do you need to do? R. E R. Mm. Add E R or we only add the R? Add the R. Yeah, because you have the E already. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I have a question. In this case, for example, large. How many syllables can you see? One. 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 One syllable. Yeah, one syllable, because you don't say large, you say large. Excellent, very good. Now, she mentioned this rule, the one, the adjectives ending in Y, yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. what did yes. she say? If you remember, what did she say? You delete Y, y and I, E, R. Uh-huh, very good. Actually, she didn't say eliminate. She said drop. drop. Yeah, that means drop. That means quítela. Remove it. All right, so drop the Y and add I E R. So happy, the comparative is happier. Happier. No? Happier. Very good. Teacher, and por, porque le voy a decir por qué es bueno saber las reglas. Porque la gente que no sabe las reglas ni gramática, a todos los adjetivos les pone more. More. Para happy. decir comparative. <laughs> More happy, more strong, more big, more large. No, que no es como usted quiera. There are rules. Yeah, there are rules. And we have to respect the rules. Actually, people who speak English use the rules when they mention comparatives. They, estas reglas las usan. They use them. Eh, en las canciones. Un montón de canciones que se me acaban de venir a la mente ahorita. For example, Stronger. One what from Britney Spears. Strong. I know. Ah, or What Doesn't Kill You <laughs> From uh, like um from Kelly Clarkson, yes. Yes. And also Britney Spears has a song because I am stronger than yesterday. <laughs> a stronger than yesterday. Or for example, larger. I remember a song from Backstreet Boys that says, and that makes you larger than life. They were comparing, right? They were comparing, estaban comparando a su fandom con eh, la vida, right? Que eran más, ellos más que la vida, right? larger than life. Okay, happier, yeah. Um, I don't remember. There is a song where that just says happier. Now. It is on the marshmallow, mm -hmm. happier. Uh -huh. Yes, it's true. It's true. Now, when we have two syllables, when we have two syllables, we can have gentler or more gentle. In this case, you have gentle. You can say more gentle, okay? Or you can say gentler, the two forms, the two forms, okay? But when you have, and we can say done, when you have more than three syllables in one adjective, for example, expensive, three, intelligent, four, Handsome, two. Beautiful. Beautiful, three. You say more, I see. You can use more, okay? More intelligent, more handsome, more expensive than. Okay, hasta el momento, so far, are the rules clear? Yes, yes. 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 Okay, if you have a question, let me finish and, and I will I will um, answer your question. Your, your questions. Now, we have some irregular forms, okay? Now, we have some irregular forms. Give me a moment. Esto lo voy a separar porque no, no es un adjetivo, son dos diferentes. For example, when you have good, 
little. Y le voy a dar otro porque hay otros dos más. So when you have good, for example, the comparative of good is better. You don't say more better, no. It's like if you are saying más mejor, no. You say better. <laughs> eh, if you want to say más peor, the comparative, worse. the comparative of bad is worse. The comparative of lejos, far, is farther. It's like if you say father, but you add the R. And the comparative of little is less. Okay? So, for example, if you want to say, Luis Miguel es mejor cantante que Peso Pluma. Uh, <laughs> ah, no, no, no. Peso Pluma es mejor, es cantante mejor que Freddie Mercury. Es mejor que Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. No, me salgo no. de la clase. So, no, güey. Right? Hi, Eric. Hi. Salud. Hi. Bye, bye. Esta lera nunca va a decir eso. Ush. Pero lo dijo como ejemplo. Hasta el lado. All right, Jay. Ay, no. Lo sacó de muy del corazón, teacher, la verdad. Asco total. I don't no. like that. I don't like that kind of music. I... No. Okay. Me too. But <laughs> lo vamos a decir en, bromo de, en tono de broma, right? So it says, eh, Peso Pluma, <laughs> better singer than Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Ay, no. All right, Freddie Mercury. All right. Or, si a alguien le gusta Peso Pluma aquí, perdonen, ¿verdad? Pero... Yeah. Eh, like it. No. My, it is my personal opinion, but if you like it, I respect it. All right. You said you're Bad Bunny. <laughs> I know. We are a question about Bad Bunny, mejor. No le siguen que la teacher se está estresando. Okay, no. okay. <laughs> se me cayó el internet, chicos. Adiós. No. <laughs> <laughs> Igual ayer. No, no, el lunes. Una pregunta muy difícil. Uh -huh. eh, Bad Bunny es mejor que Peso Pluma, sí o no? Ah, no, ahí no puedo opinar yo, mátenme mejor. <ríe> no, cuélguenme. No, all right. All right. Bueno, si hablamos de fama, el Bad Bunny, ¿eh? Right? O no, yo no sé. El yo lunes no... la clase es con la teacher Clarisa, dice. Ah, vale. <ríe> no, porque a esta gente le gusta el reggaetón. Oh, Ay, no, no. le voy a decir, el reggaetón, a mí me, o sea, no lo veo mal, me gusta mucho el reggaetón pero el viejo, con Tego Calderón con con los, con, 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 los, con, los pio, con los pioneros del reggaetón right eh, 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 el general vaya Daddy Yankee vaya Daddy Yankee me gusta los tolero pues, los tolero hasta, hasta tolero quizás un poquito al tal Maluma, pero ese va no, no, no. no. Ese tipo. Y lo peor es que son pegajosas las canciones. <risa> eh, lo peor. Es que es mama. Ajá. Ajá, exacto. Sin querer se empieza a mover el piecito cuando Ajá. se Ajá. Ah, pero Balboni es pegadizo, pero peso pluma. <risa> Ay, no. Peso yo miro, pluma es pegadizo. Yo miro, yo miro unos videos este, en Facebook. Miren, yo a veces son las dos de la mañana y riéndome a carcajadas viendo los reels de Facebook, de Instagram. <risa> No sé, si han visto uno de, no sé si han visto uno del perrito malvado, no. Mi perrito malvado se fue de casa. Este. <risa> ya, ya, ya. Es buena y la le, canción. Y le, y le cantan, el agua, 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 agua de tu perfume. Ay, no. <risa> y de ahí le cantan, compa, que le parece esa morra. Y el, y el perrito se ve enojando cada vez más. Pero cuando le cantan el bebito fiu fiu, Ay, ay, a quererlo sí. morder. Sí, ahí le voy a mandar el video es que está sí. bueno, pero la cosa es que Peso Pluma is better singer than Freddie Mercury all right, there we go all right, but pay attention all right, como son adjetivos, they are adjectives. yo no sé quién es Peso Pluma ni, ni, ni sepa Claudia no ay, se pierde no. de nada se pierde de mucho all right, very good, now Um, the next one is, um, como son adjetivos, they are adjectives, okay, you need verb to be, you need to use verb to be in the sentences. For, for example, 
is, you have is here. Verb to be, all right? You always need verb to be. La buscaré en Google. All right, yeah. Uh, it is always with verb to be. So, for example, if you want to say, um, yo soy más alta que mi hermana, in English is, I am taller than oh, my sister. sister. I am taller than my sister. Or my sister is taller than me. We need verb to be. Okay. I don't know if you have any question. Now you can ask ask me. Uh, Wilbur. How do you... <clears throat> yes. Sorry, what I... is, what ah. is the difference in the in the case to strong and the be? But ah. the mm. the two the two the two adjective is the one syllable. Uh-huh. Very good question. A very good question, Wilbur. The difference is that you have adjectives that are one syllable but they have a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant. So when you have a consonant, vowel, consonant, you double the last consonant and you add ER. Mm -hmm. That is the difference. Yeah. Uh, actually, the, you. there is a, uh, oh, you're welcome. Actually, the, uh, there is a, a list. I'm gonna send a list of comparatives to you. Uh, Eric, you have a question? How do you pronounce large in comparative? Oh, larger. Larger, okay. Larger, yes, larger, larger, okay, very good. Le voy a decir, eh, una buena técnica de, de aprender bastante vocabulario en inglés es traducir las canciones, pero uno traducirlas, all right? Es muy, es muy, es muy, este, buen ejercicio. It is really good, really, really good. Eh, deberían de, de tomar una canción que a ustedes les guste en in inglés, buscar lo que queremos fácil en la vida, all right? Y la Oye, tecnología. ¿cómo? La voy a traducir en inglés. ¿Cuál? Oiga, me compa. compa. <ríe> <ríe> Ay, no. Oh, no, my God. Ok, Ay, so, no. eh, Karen, can you take a picture, please? Karen Yvette. Karen Yvette is helping me today with the pictures. <ríe> Ay, no. Y yo pongo el, el video de ese perro un día en mi estado de WhatsApp y le pongo. Así me pongo yo, cabal, así voy escalando. <risa> Porque el perrito está tranquilo y cada vez que le empiezan a cantar y a cantar y se empieza a enojar y a enojar y a enojar. <risa> I know, it's really funny. Ok, eh, another question, another person. Is everything clear? If you have a question, ask me, ask me, no problem. I have a question. Ok, Gal, uh, ask me. Yes, uh, eh, Marjorie. Uh -huh. I only use comparative with verb to be. For example? No, no, no. Uh, Not only with verb to be. Yeah, uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, you can also use it like this. Give me a moment. Uh, bueno, cuando comparta la pizarra se va a borrar todo lo que he hecho ahí. But let me see. Karen sends the picture. For example, uh, very good question, uh, Gabby. Very good question. Okay, for example, if you use adjectives, you can say, Eric, Eric is more talkative than Wilbert. True or false? True. 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 Desde que estaba chiquito tengo ese problema. Me too, don't worry. Ay, no. Papá me decía, te duele la boca de tanto hablar. Yeah, my father used to tell me, my father used to tell me que no te duele la boca de tanto hablar. And my answer was like, <laughs> all right, yes. So Eric is more talkative than Wilbert. All right, so here, talk, talk. I perdón, se me fue una T, sorry. Uh, it is only talk, talkative, yeah. Give me a moment. Mm, uh -huh. it, we don't need this tea. Uh, we don't need it. All right. So Eric is more talkative than uh, Wilbur. Okay. Now, um, Gabriela is asking, teacher, and we can only use comparatives with verb to be. No, Gab. We can use it also with, um, with verbs, with actions. For example, ¿Quién habla más rápido, guys? Wilbur or Eric? Eric, Eric, Eric. 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 Eric.
Dan Wilbert. So, Gabby, I can use comparatives also with verbs. Okay? Thanks. You're welcome. Marjorie, you have a question? Yes. Uh, is there a way for to know when we use irregular verbs? O sea, when we know is the irregular verb. Irregular verb. Sí, like the screen. Let me see. Or irregular verb or irregular adjective. Irregular adjective. Ah, Marjorie, you have to memorize them. Mm -hmm. It's like when we study, okay. for example, it's like, for example, when we study, Marjorie, regular and irregular verbs in simple past. My students ask me, teacher, and how do I know the difference between regular and irregular verbs? What's the, ¿cuál es la clave, chicos? Memorize. 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 Yes, you have to memorize them. Yeah, no hay otra manera. There is no other way. Como es vocabulario adjunto, todos los idiomas comparten algo. Subject, verb, and complex. Todos. In Spanish, in English, in Chinese, que el orden cambia en algunos idiomas es diferente. But we always use a subject, verb, and complement. ¿Ok? La estructura es la misma en cualquier idioma. Ahora, para aprender un idioma necesitamos aprender vocabulario adjunto. ¿Cuál es el vocabulario adjunto? I'm going to tell you. It is. Sorry, I'm changing color. All right. Nouns. Adjectives. Adverbs. Verbs. Prepositions. Prepositions. Interjections. Uh, let me see. And conjunctions. This is what we have to learn. Y de cada categoría. Woo! There are a lot. In the nouns, for example, you have singular nouns, plural nouns, common nouns, mass nouns, countable nouns, uncountable nouns. In the adjectives, you have comparative adjectives, superlative adjectives, eh, comparisons. In the adverbs, you have adverbs of time, adverbs of place, adverbs of, of um, to describe places. In verbs, we have uh, present verbs, past verb, past participle verbs, ing verbs, verbs in third person singular. Yeah, so can you imagine how many uh, words we have to learn for that one to make it more practical and faster? You have to keep in touch with the language. That means watching videos, watching movies in English. I mean, todo su entorno tiene que girar al inglés porque es el idioma que está aprendiendo. Ok, Marjorie. Ok, thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome, you're welcome. Roxana, Saraí, you have a question. Yes, teacher. What is yeah. the form for questions? Ah, it is similar, it is similar to the questions in with verb to be. For example, Eh, vamos a ocupar a siempre a Eric. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> Don't worry, teacher. Eric and Wilbur. All right. So, eh, Roxana is asking me about the question. The, the negative sentences, Roxana, you only need is in negative. Is and aren't. Okay. And in question, you need to do what you do with the, with the sentences uh, with verb to be. Eric is more talkative than Wilbur. What can be the question, guys? Is Eric, Eric the, uh, excellent? Is Eric is Eric more talkative? More talkative than Wilbur. Mm -hmm. This is the question, uh, Roxana. But this is a yes no question. This is a yes no question. Okay. okay. Now, if okay, we want, okay, if we would like, si quisiéramos usar una uh, information question, preguntáramos así. Who is more talkative? Eric or Wilbert? This is an information question. Uh -huh. Yep. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Guys, otra pregunta, chicos. Another question.
Okay. Excellent. Now, I'm going to give you some, some exercises, all right? Comparative adjectives are not difficult. What we need to do is practicing. Practicing, practicing. And uh, as Marjorie was asking me, right, you need to uh, practice with the rules. But we're going to practice right now. Let me see. I will, I will give you one that is easier. Okay? Como este es el último tema ya de la unidad cinco, o este tema sí le vamos a dar bonito. Okay? Excuse me, teacher, the picture. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a moment. Um, emotionation. <laughs> All right. Uh, the link is in the chat, but I'm going to take the picture. Please, everybody, turn the camera, the cameras on. Y ya casi terminamos otro módulo más, chicos. Yo creo que van a terminar este preintermedio hasta el 3. Creo que sí, porque el que viene es el 2. Y ya el, sí, creo que alcanzan a estudiar el 3. Um, All right, very good. Yes, solo, solo que sí, este, no sabemos cómo va a funcionar ahora Insafor, que ya no se va a llamar Insafor, pero no vayan a desistir, ¿ok? No, no vayan a desistir si los, les dicen, no, en, en enero no creo que comencemos las clases. Tiene que ser en febrero, marzo, no sabemos, pero try, try to touch with the language, all right? Okay, picture, let's see. One, two, and three. Excellent, very good. This is... With soccer in the photo. Huh? With soccer in, in the photo. With... <laughs> El Yo chocolate. salí triste porque hasta marzo quieren comenzar las clases. No, es que así es siempre, así es siempre por las licitaciones. Ajá, pero y ahora como ya todo va a cambiar un poco, no sabemos cómo van a hacer las cosas, pero... Esperemos Anaí, que... Bukele, le voy a mandar un mensaje. Yo, me está Miren ustedes, clases, a... ustedes expriman todo lo que puedan ahorita. Mire Claudia Ruth, Claudia Ruth tiene bien, expri... bien exprimido a Linsa Ford. Yes, está aprendiendo inglés y francés. Con el módulo ah, sería Eric. Sorry, sorry, Eric, Eric Flores, ¿ya te metiste en la clase de frases? Ya. Ya. ¿Dónde está? ¿Cómo se hizo? No, porque ya está adelante. Yo comencé el básico, pero eh. me metí hasta la tercera clase, entonces ahí voy. Excelente, qué nice. Compañero, ¿y cómo hacer para meterse a esas clases? Yo también. Escriban, escriban a un número de WhatsApp, solo que ya es la cuarta clase a la que entraría en la otra Man, semana. No el número. No importa. Mándalo al grupo. Y entran, y entran, es una clase pues, a la semana. Dos, 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 dos teachers, pero pueden empezar a inscribirse ya porque ellos se tardan bastante. Entonces, cuando el grupo no ha empezado. Pobre, pero... pobre. Ruth, estás aquí con esa administración. <risa> Ay, teacher, he sufrido. Ahorita no hemos empezado el segundo nivel. Estamos esperando. Pero las clases totales grabadas me las enviaron, las enviaron la semana pasada. Mm. Entonces, voy a aprovechar ese tiempo como para repasar, por, para poder hacer la plataforma. A mí en el usuario me han mandado, Claudia, y el domingo tengo que entregar tarea. Eric, a mí se tardaron dos semanas y media en mandarme la plataforma, por eso es que yo me atrasé. Eric, no. Eric esté los presionando, si no, no, no se lo van a mandar. Ayer le dije y, y me dijo, ay, ahora, llamada. ahora se lo vamos a mandar, esté pendiente del correo y yo. Le voy a mandar el contacto ahí al chat. Okay. No, no está, está okay, bien, Tito, que lo sí, mande al chat. Mándelo, 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 mándelo. Claro. Si alguien le dice ah. algo, pues yo pedí, pero yo le di permiso. All right, all right. En Zafor pregunté si había otro, otro proveedor dando francés. Me dijeron que no, que iban oh, a ver no. si tenían en presencial y no, que no tienen. Ahorita solo ellos están dando francés. Pero, pero se quejó. Ay, no, Tito, no me quejé. Hágalo. No, ¿Sabe por pregunta? qué? Le voy a decir, vaya, después le preguntan, pero ahorita vamos a seguir con la clase. Pero una cosa le voy a decir, eh, Claudia, eh, las quejas a veces no sirven, no es, que, no es que sea porque uno sea malo, sino que pueden ellos abrir más opciones de, de otras academias. Sí, Ajá. si ahorita no tienen otras. Exacto. Solamente... 
Ajá, ellos solo tienen eso. ahorita el, ellos tienen ahorita como el, el, el mercado de francés, pero, pero hay otras academias que yo sé que son buenas, pero tal vez no cumplen con los requisitos. Es que en Zafuertes, yo de, realmente estoy agradecida, y lo voy a decir aquí en video, muy agradecida con Instafor porque me ha dado trabajo fijo por 10 años. Estoy oh. muy agradecida por 10 años. Sí, el... ¿Y, Cheri, ¿qué, ¿Y qué tipo de pruebas le hacen como para trabajar así como usted? Uf, en mi carrera, eh, el TOEFL, tiene que llevar okay. un puntaje de TOEFL, eh, que es un examen difícil de pasar porque hay, a, hasta licenciados no lo pasan. Fíjese de que yo fui a la academia de... Espérame, que si lo dejo hablar a usted, tengo que dejar hablar a Esther. Ok, Esther, <risa> sí. Y me hace con Esther, sí. Se me olvidó Pregúntale. la pregunta. <risa> Ay, no. Eh, eh, iba a preguntar algo a Claudia. Ya Claudia. no me acuerdo qué le iba a preguntar. Este... Ya, ya, ya se va a hacer. Ah, que, no. que si solo, si no sabe que si están enseñando otro idioma. Ah, Ellos son solo... inglés, o pero definitivamente mejor speak. Así 100%. Porque si así estamos con francés, yo ya no, ya no, no sé, no sé cómo será el inglés realmente. Pero yo a mí, de mi, desde mi punto de vista, speak me encanta. Ven. Ajá, <ríe> Miren, sí. sí, tenemos bastantes alumnos, gracias a Dios, bastantes alumnos, bastantes alumnos. Y es que, y es que como les digo yo ayer, ¿verdad? ayer Eric pidió la moción de que, de que pudiera estar con ustedes otra vez y le pongo yo, aunque le jale las orejas. Es que realmente yo no quiero que ustedes sean mediocres en el idioma. Yo no quiero estar con usted. Pensé que iba a ah, no, no. Yo también pensé eso. Yo también no quiero, teacher. Todos nos sé. asustamos, ¿verdad? Entonces. No, 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 no. Miren, yo les estoy enseñando a que ustedes sean, este, no piqui, pero que sean eh, lo mejor que puedan con el idioma. Accurate, accurate. Porque acuérdese que cuando usted, yo uso esta palabra, se oye feo. Pero cuando uno va a buscar trabajo, se vende. Uno yeah. se va a vender. Entonces, usted es el lujo que usted lo escojan. Que usted escoja, no que lo escojan a usted. ¿Me entiende? O sea, de que usted tenga como aquella abanico de oportunidades. Como una alumna, me acuerdo una vez, bien contenta. Llegó a la academia donde yo trabajaba y me dice, tiche, tiche, mire, vengo a hablar con usted. Yo, eh, ¿Qué andas haciendo por acá? ¿Qué? Pues, teacher, mire, yo quiero que me dé un consejo. A dime, le digo yo. Mire, fíjese que apliqué a cinco call centers y de los cinco me han llamado. <risa> ¿Cuál escojo? Qué bonito, nice. Pero si usted va a uno y ni de ese lo llaman, ¿qué quiere decir? Sí, sí, sí. Ahorita si se aventura, pues eh, quizás es un poquito pronto. Hay que esperar un poquito más de tiempo, practicar un poquito más. ¿Ok? Eh, pero sí les digo, o sea, por eso es que yo trato de con ustedes ser así, para que ustedes, por ejemplo, este, este módulo me, propu, me propuse que todas las tareas fueran orales. Y eso ayuda. Vieran eh, el nivel 3 que tengo en la tarde, con ellos estoy aplicando eso también. Y wow, me dicen unas respuestas que yo me quedo, wow, that's nice. Aunque las hayan buscado en el internet, pero se esmeran, ¿me entienden? O sea, entonces eso ayuda al crecimiento. Y es un reto porque son bastantes ustedes y están desde casa. Pero miren, si uno quiere, desde donde sea puede aprender. Desde donde sea, en la presencial. Hay gente que pone la excusa. Es que presencial aprendo más y ni aún así. Nah. Es porque es la persona, no es la academia, no es el teacher. Es uno, uno, el que tiene que también poner un, un poquito de, 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 de esfuerzo. Right? Uh -huh. Claudia Ruth, mande el número si quiere. All right. Por favor, o Eric, manden el número y ahí que los compañeros sí. que estén interesados pues tam también puedan Pero, aplicar. Hay bastante demanda ahorita de francés ahí en esa academia. Yo creo que por eso también es que la lentitud, yo no sé la gestión que tienen ahí, pero este, un compañero, otro amigo que, me, que yo le conté, se inscribió también, me dice, Claudia, somos 40 en la clase y en mi clase, teacher, éramos solamente 15. Entonces, Vaya, pero este... yo le digo, son 40 en la clase, pero ¿quién es el responsable del aprendizaje personal? Uno. Con que hasta yo me quiero meter, y a mí no me gusta el francés, pero quiero. Pero sí, es que cuando yo hablo francés, oui, le parle francés, yo estoy salvado bien. 
Y bla, bla, bla. Miércoles es teacher en la noche. Ahorita Ay, solo no puedo. Un, Trabajo. Solo un horario. Solo un horario. Yo creo que por eso hay bastante gente en el grupo. Que no sé, yo, yo creo que es mejor que sean de menos. Pero mire, de 40, ¿cuánto terminan? Eh, pues, sí, porque no terminan la plataforma. Les voy a decir algo. Ustedes que saben inglés tienen una gran ventaja sobre esa gente. Porque el inglés y el español van de la mano con francés. Hay muchas palabras que vienen del inglés. Por ejemplo, zanahorias son le carotte. Le carotte. Le carotte. Uh -huh. La palabra en inglés se dice English. Uh, anglais. Le, je parle anglais. El, el, el traductor en francés me dijo English, así como Anglais, le je parle anglais, je parle español, je suis adaptorien, je suis profesor oh. de anglais. Sí, <risa> sí, yo he estado en cursos básicos, pero es que el francés no me gusta. El Qué desayuno, sí. Qué lindo se le oye, teacher. Qué ¿Ah? bonito se le oye. Qué lindo se le oye. Ay, no. Ajá. Ajá. Eso cuesta. Parle, le parle, je parle, ay no. Terrible. Pero para ampliar uno su conocimiento, right? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, the, the exercise. Let's do the exercise. Yes. The chat. I see. It is in the, the exercise. Chat, right? the <clears throat> Very easy. You only have to select the, the, the picture. Okay, let me see. I will give you five minutes. Let's go. Jose Raul. Do you remember your group, Jose Raul? One, two, three, four, five. José Raúl. José Raúl is not here. Okay. Roxana, do you remember your group? Me teacher. Three. Ah, okay. No, no.
Easy. Yes. One more time. Yes, teacher. Did you finish? Yes. No, one more time. Oh. Yes. Ah, you didn't finish. Mm. One more time. One more time. All right. Uh, two minutes more. Yes. Yeah. All right. Ah, yeah, because we are, yeah, okay. Two or three minutes more? Three minutes. Three. Three. Okay. What we can do in, in these two minutes, teacher, if we ah, finish, do so it again. Mm, yeah, if you want. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, your, so your classmates can finish, uh -huh, but send me the score, all right? Okay. <laughs> Okay, now you're finished? Yes. Yes, all right. Yes. Now, um, we're gonna do the last exercise before we finish our class. Okay, and we're gonna practice. Uh, I need your opinion. Okay, can you see? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, now pay attention to this. Which is better? Letter A. Letter A. But tell me the sentence. Tell me the sentence. A volunteer. A volunteer. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay. Roxana Ramirez de Arias. Tell me. A piece of cake is better than 
I sprinkle. My opinion, you can say, because that's your opinion. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Another person? Ice In cream is team. better than... Ay, dale, 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 dale. Okay, wait, <laughs> uh -huh. okay, ice cream is better than the piece of cake. In my opinion, say. In my opinion. In my opinion. Uh -huh. Because, guys, comparatives, if mm -hmm. you compare, for example, Angelina Jolie with Scarlett Johansson, and you say Angelina Jolie is more beautiful than Scarlett Johansson, that can be for me. But for another person, can uh, no, Scarlett Johansson is more beautiful than Angelina Jolie. It's a matter of opinion, okay? All right, let's see. Uh, Eric, tell me. I I share the opinion of Karen. <laughs> oh, so tell me. Uh, for me, ice cream is better than a piece of cake. Okay, very good. Nice. Let's see. All right. Let's see the next. Which is cleaner, a cat or a pig? A cat. cat. The cat is cleaner than pig. Ah, okay. A cat is cleaner than a pig. Yes, correct. Okay. Yes. If, si se fijan, no hay respuesta correcta because it's a matter of opinion. What is more interesting? Reading, doing homework or watching TV? Doing homework is more interesting than watch TV. Than watching. <laughs> than watching. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because we are talking about activities. All right. So for you, doing homework is more interesting than watching TV. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. What about the next? Which is noisier? Noisier. The perico. How, how, how do you say perico? Parrot. Parrot. Right. So you say the parrot is noisier than the than rabbit. The rabbit. Than, the uh -huh. than the rabbit. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. everybody. Thank you very much for your for your for your participation. Just give me a moment.